Hello citizens and welcome back. A lot of new players ask me how to report bugs in Star Citizen. So today we're going to take a look at exactly that along with how bugs are processed and why you should contribute. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. Okay, I understand that a large number of new backers watch my videos. So I'm going to start by explaining how to report bugs you find in Star Citizen. All bug reports for Star Citizen are stored on the issue council. Once you get in, select Star Citizen and here you can preview all the bugs that have been reported so far. I actually go to check the issue council every time I think I encounter a bug so I can contribute and maybe find a workaround if possible. When looking for a bug you can just search by text, this seems to work pretty well most of the time. If you can't find what you're looking for or you want to look at bugs in a specific version or environment, switch to all issues and here you have filters that can help you find what you're looking for. Most of the time you won't be creating new bugs, but contributing to existing bugs. By contributing you can express that a certain bug did or did not happen to you or that it's not a valid bug or that it's a duplicate. To contribute, just click on the big contribute button. This will take you to the bug where you click contribute again. I know, but we all know that CAG is notoriously bad at UX. This will take you through a little questionnaire where you select the type of contribution, game version, severity and you get to add your own note or pictures. Before you do this, I recommend you read through the bug to see if the steps to reproduce and the outcomes are the same as what you're looking for and if you would like to add something. Once you complete this, your contribution will be added to the report. I think that now is a good time to talk about the various states of the bug reports. When a bug report is created, it is marked as open. Once it reaches the required number of contributions, it will become confirmed. If it does not reach the required number of contributions before expiring, or if it's marked as invalid by enough people, it will be archived. Confirmed bugs remain confirmed until they are investigated by CIG, which will move them into the under investigation state. I believe that there is a team of people going over confirmed bugs and transferring them to the internal task tracking tool for devs to prioritize and fix. Of course, critical and frequent bugs with no workarounds are prioritized for fixing. Probably. After investigation, the bug will either be fixed and moved to the fixed state or archived for whatever reason. Chances are, especially with older bugs, that the steps to reproduce are no longer valid or something else is preventing the developers from reproducing and investigating the issue. Okay, now that you understand how contributing and how the bug workflow works, we can move on to the most important part, bug reporting. You start by clicking on the report a new issue button. This will take you to a screen where you will briefly describe the bug. This will bring up a list of similar bugs. If you find the one you're about to report, contribute to it instead of reporting it again. Creating duplicate bugs will bring swift justice from other issue council users. But for the sake of demonstration, I will go on. If your report is new, you can proceed with filling out information about what happened in what version and build, how to reproduce it and what should have happened along with any pictures or video you can provide. Then you click submit and that's it. Now let's talk about why you should report and contribute to bugs even though there's absolutely no guarantee doing so will get them fixed or even looked at. Well, to figure out which bugs to investigate and fix, CAG need information about how many players it affects and how severely. Your bug reports and contributions also contain the information about your setup, which may help diagnose bugs specific for some systems. Now, even though I said before that frequent and critical bugs with no workarounds are prioritized, this doesn't really mean they will be fixed. There are two main reasons why. First, the bug is too complex and would take too much time to fix and thus force other work to be delayed too much. Second, the bug will be fixed as a part of a different fix or feature. So in conclusion, report bugs and contribute to the issue council. It may not seem like it, but it helps. With that being said, that's all for tonight. Do you contribute to the issue council? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the verse.